Okay, my friends, today we are going to complete lesson 5.4, where we will learn about a new word building pattern. And this new word building pattern is at. So after completing this lesson, you will understand how the at pattern is made and be able to use it to read and create words. So in lesson 5.3, so yesterday's lesson, we learned about the letter A and how it sometimes makes an A sound or a short A sound. So let's quickly review lesson 5.3. So here on the board, I have the words apple, astronaut, and ad. Who can identify the short A in the word apple? Very good job, a, a, apple. What about in the word astronaut? Very nice, a, a, astronaut. And let's take a look at our last word, ad. Who can identify the short A in the word ad? Very good job, a, a, ad, right there at the beginning. Very good job. So let's remember this word right here, apple, is our model word for the short A sound an A makes. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to write a letter on the board. can name this letter and tell me the sounds that it makes. Very good job. Yes, that is an A. And it sometimes makes an A, A sound or a short A sound. What letter would we need to add to this A to make the word at? Awesome job. Yes, we would need to add the letter T to make the word or pattern at. Now, using this pattern A, T, or at, what letter would we need to add to make the word cat? K. At, cat. Very good job. We would need to add the letter C to make the word cat. K, a, t, cat. Right. The next word I want to look at with you is another word that contains the pattern at. What letter would I need to add to create the word sat? Very good job. Yes, I would need to add the letter S to create the word sat. Let's read this word together. S at sat. Very good job. <clears throat> All right. And what about the word mat? What letter would I need to add to create the word mat, m at. Very good job. Yes, I would need to add the letter M to create the word mat. Let's read this one together too. M at mat. Okay, 
Let's try one more word, which will be our model word for this pattern. What letter would I need to add to create the word hat? Like a hat you wear on your head. Very good job. Yes, I would need to add the letter H to create the word hat. At, hat. Fabulous job. Okay. So let's take a quick look at these new words we've created. Can anyone identify what is the same about each of these words? We have cat, as in cat, sat, mat, hat, as in hat. Very good job. Yes, they all contain the at pattern at the end of the word. So, a t, a t, a t, and a t. At. Wonderful job. Can anyone tell me what sound this a right here in the at pattern says? What does that a sound like? Very good job, ah, ah, at. And what about this T here in the pattern at? T, t, cat, very good job. All right, my friends, we're gonna play a quick game that will help us to review our lesson and our new pattern that we just learned. So I'm going to provide the onset or the first letter of a word and I would like for you guys to tell me the rhyme that goes after the onset, okay? So our first letter is F. What sound does an F make? Very good job, F, F. Now, what rhyme or letters would I need to add to this F to make the word fat? Fat. Let's think back to the pattern we just learned about. Fat. Very good job, we would add an A and a T to create the word fat. At, fat. Let's try another. Here's an onset, which is the letter B. What rhyme should be added to this B to create the word bat? Bat. Wonderful job. Yes, we would add the letters A and T to create the word bat. B, at, bat. Awesome job. Okay, so let's very quickly review our new words.
Okay, so our new words that we learned today in lesson 5.4 are fat, 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 mat, m, at, mat. Okay, so now we're going to do a little more practicing with our new pattern. And I'm going to write some of our new words on the board. And also I'm going to include some words from other lessons that we've recently learned about. What we're going to do is we're going to read through these words and we're going to identify the words that contain our new pattern that we just learned about, which is the at pattern. And remember, we must not only focus on the onset of the word, but also the rhyme. So. We're going to put a red X next to the words that do not follow our new pattern. And we're going to put a green check mark next to the words that do. Okay, so first we're going to read through all of the words and then we'll go back and revisit each one of them. Okay, so here we have bat, bad, hat, pad, sat and sad. So I would like for you to give me a thumbs up if you think the word follows our pattern or a thumbs down if it doesn't follow our pattern. So our first word is bat, b, at. Okay, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, yes, bat follows our new pattern because it contains the A, T, or at pattern. So we'll put a green check mark. Okay, what about our next word, bad? B, ad. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Right, thumbs down. It does not follow our new pattern. What about the word Hat, h, at. Does hat follow our new pattern? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, very good job. Yes, it does follow our new pattern. What about the word pad, p, ad? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Right, thumbs down. It does not follow our new pattern. And what about the word sat? S, at, sat. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Right, it does follow our new pattern. See, it contains that at pattern there at the end. All right, our last word, sad, s, Add. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Correct. It does not follow our new pattern. Very good job, boys and girls. Thank you for your help. Okay. Now we're going to add to our model words chart 
And this is our resource here in the classroom that we use when we need a little bit of help um, remembering our newly learned patterns. So we're going to add our new pattern to our chart. And what is our new pattern today, boys and girls? At, very good job. So we're gonna add at to our model words chart. And our model word for this new pattern is hat, like I have here. Who can help me spell our new model word? Correct. At. Very good job. I'm also going to draw a picture of a hat here. We can also use that to help us remember. So our new pattern today is at, as in at, hat, and we also have a little picture here of a hat. All right, to wrap up our lesson today, I wanted to have a discussion about anyone in our class who maybe has a favorite hat or maybe a pet cat. Would anyone like to share about maybe their favorite hat or maybe a pet cat that they have? I would also like to share. So I have a pet cat and her name is Sloan and she is very small and gray, but she's very fluffy. I thank you for everyone who, um, who chose to share about their pet cat or maybe their favorite hat with the rest of the class. All right, and our last activity for the lesson is we are going to read a short story called The Fat Cat Sat on a Mat by Nurit Carlin. And after we read the story, we're going to talk about the words in the story that use the at pattern that we just learned about today. Then we're going to practice writing those words. So I want you to keep your eyes and your ears open for words that have the at pattern in the story, okay? And a few examples of those words in the story on the, um, on the cover of the page are fat, cat, sat, and mat. 